Need a set of matching dados into pieces, like these here? There's a simple method to make them. Let me show you. The idea is to make a set of matching mirror dados into pieces. They can be identical, which would make things easier, but they can also be different, like in this example. To do this, I need two support pieces. One to get the dado to the right width. For that, I set the fence to the width of the stock that is going into the dados. Next, I need to move the fence one curve width closer to the blade. The trick I use comes from Mike Whitenton, who commented on my table saw runner video. Thanks, Mike. So that trick, and it comes in handy again later on, requires another saw blade or any other piece of the same thickness as the blade you use. I set the surplus blade against the fence and hold a piece of wood against this blade. Holding that in place, I remove the blade and move the fence against the wood. With the blade set higher than the width of the stock, I run a piece through to take off one curve width of material. Then I run it through face down to create a square piece with that dimension. This way the orientation does not matter later on. When you use two different pieces to make matching datas in, you also need a piece that is as wide as half the difference between the two pieces. You will hopefully see what I mean in a moment. Now I set the blade to the desired depth of the dados and the fence so that the cut will be the inside of one of the dados. The fence stays like this till all the outside cuts are made. I run the broader piece through once, then put in the dado width spacer between fence and piece and run it through again. What that does is it creates two cuts with the exact width of the dado between the outward sides since we cut the spacer to the material width minus the saw curve. You can still test the fit by eye at this point. I then flip the piece horizontally and repeat the process with both cuts and the spacer. Now to make the matching cuts on the smaller piece I do exactly the same with the extra spacer between fence and piece you cut. I put the dado width spacer in like before. Again you can check the alignment of the cuts between your two boards but there is little you can do now but go ahead with it. To cut out the material between the cuts I used the trick from before. I place my same curved saw blade against the fence, butt the piece up against it, hold it in place, remove the saw blade and move the fence up to the wood. That allows me to take curve width cuts out of the dado and to do that I repeat the same process with spacers and flipping as before until I have removed all the waste material. As you can see, the fit is good. If you want to play it safe and tight, you can make the width spacer a tad smaller and nibble your way up to it at the end. This was actually meant to be the bed of a shop-made lathe, based on something that I saw in Instructables, but quite frankly I realized that building a lathe completely on my own is too much of a hassle and I didn't think I could pull it off, so I just went ahead and bought one. I still think I'm going to use this at some point, it's plenty sturdy and maybe some kind of lathe-like duplicator based on what Alex Harris from This Woodworks has done. So I hope you can use this method, it's really simple to make matching dados like that, even with, or especially without a dado stack. I hope this video helped you, and if it did, please share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, and remember to be inspired.